Coming up on season five of Red Table Talk. Right, we're rolling everybody quiet on the set, please. Jada Pinkett Smith makes her return to the Red Table following the Oscar slap heard around the globe. <laughs> I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel, so. A member of the Motion Picture Academy called Will Smith's 10-year Oscar ban a toothless penalty and said the performer should voluntarily return his award for Best Actor. Give me it. I'll tip it, yeah. Nothing would happen to me because I wouldn't have told a joke about his wife's hair. <laughs> I'd have told a joke about her boyfriend. Thank you. Well, well, well. It's been a while since we talked. It's been a while. Wait, no, 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 no. You know, I had a full night's sleep last night, and it's only 2 o'clock, and I've got some playoff sports ball to watch tonight, and a full schedule of dog training with Ruby. We're going to try to see if... She can stop incessantly barking, trying to dominate literally every other dog, even when they're five times her size. Hopefully that goes well. That said, she's back. She's using the uh, Will incident to make sure she can promote her horrible Facebook show, The Red Table, uh, and um, is uh, uh, had some interesting psychopathic, in my opinion, clips resurfaced to the internet that uh, are truly troubling. And it's now being reported through several outlets that the two are headed towards the messiest divorce in Hollywood history as Jada seeks to take half of Will Smith's $350 million fortune. It's probably why he stuck around as long as he did. That said, the New York Post, Jada Pinkett Smith teases dramatic new red table talk after slap debacle. Wow, I can't wait. I can't wait to read about it. Um, you see here, why is this all zoomed in? Silly goose. All right. So Jada Pickett Smith teases dramatic new red table talk after the slap debacle. Facebook, the Facebook watch talk show, Jada Pinkett Smith and her daughter, Willow Smith, and her mother, Adrienne Banfield Norris. I very have a hard time trusting women with hyphenated last names. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If a man chose to have a hyphenated last name too, I'd have some questions about, about that too. It's totally fine if you do, but I'm just gonna need you to pass a little more muster than someone who doesn't. The new trailer teased many celebrity guests invited to the red table, included, including a bunch of people I don't care about. Monet is expected to open up about her coming out at the age of 32, don't care. Another mother-daughter pair were coming to the red table. Kim Basinger and Ireland Baldwin. Um, don't care. Don't care. Also don't care about any of this stuff. Don't care. What I care about is now this clip, okay, was uh, brought to light by, uh, by a good friend of mine, uh, Carlos Dankula. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, it makes her look even more unhinged. Like, you literally have two women here teaming up on a man to gaslight him into saying that he's supposed to stay in a relationship where his partner is like pushing buttons. You see Dank writing, the only people who will defend and excuse button pushing is because of it, uh, because they enjoy abusing a person are people who like abusing a person by pushing their buttons. Here's a clip. Watch as three women gaslight a man into accepting emotional and verbal abuse from a potential i don't know what so means and stfu willow now i don't know how old this clip is but let's just take a tiny peer a, a tiny look into i don't know i think this is that, that was... wale i think this is wale i don't know who this guy is um like these women are psychopaths like it's it's supposed to be a man's job to endure a woman pushing his buttons just for the fun of it. And by the way, you know, we'll go the same the other way too. 
if you're a woman and a man's just constantly pushing your buttons, like some people might say like, you know, it's a form of flirting or it's a little bit, that's not what they're talking about here. Like, just watch these spectacular gaslighters. Somebody's learned your buttons, right? And like now they get a, they rocks off by pushing every single one of them. You gotta go. He's a hundred percent right. But what, 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 the, what you're about to see is a masterclass in gaslighting where Jada's going to take personal offense to this because that's what she does to Will. You gotta go because this person has learned me for the wrong reasons. You gonna be with somebody, they gonna learn, they gonna learn what to push regardless. Yeah. Some people use it for the worst. Some people are like, oh, I know his buttons. But let me tell you something. You, that's the stuff you gotta work through. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's wrong. 100% wrong. And like, I I don't uh, like. We see while I knew who he was dealing with and wasn't feeling that energy at all. Nope, sorry, I wouldn't have said this is not to work on you. They're trying to make your partner miserable, and they think that you're right. Oh no, nope, sorry, I would have said no. This is not to work on you. You're just trying to make your partner miserable, and I think. And then think you're still right. F this and left the table. I mean, it's 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 hilarious. No, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's that's but, nothing but blissful is, about that. But no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said that relationships and love and marriage then why had you to always be blissful? Then why you winning? See, this what do you mean had always? That's not what he said. He didn't say that there aren't rough spots in marriage. He just said if you're with somebody who knows your buttons and enjoys pushing them. And it makes you unhappy that that's not somebody you need to be with. I, I fail to see why that would be an, a controversial statement. Misconception right here. Why are you winning? Why are you this winning? Do you want to answer that? No, I'm going to let you it's answer that. Oh <laughs> it's a no. spiritual endeavor. What? Shut up. You're like 12. It is not a spiritual endeavor. These, these are like words spoken by somebody who watched the most dysfunctional relationship on the planet. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be too hard on this kid because she obviously grew up in a bizarre situation watching her mom be probably one of the most manipulative evil women on the planet. You know, and by the way, if this is like a tit for tat situation, where's all the clips of Will Smith being awful? You know, there's been dozens and dozens of clips of Jada being awful. I mean, I suppose there is the one clip we all saw of him being awful whole thing i have to look at my trauma and you're pushing my buttons that's making me look at my trauma and what i need to work, work on. on what here's a common button push that happens to me and i hate it when i if i order lunch for example and like i doordash it and like my old lady was particularly frugal. I'm in a financial position where I don't, it doesn't really matter if I spend $20 on lunch instead of going to drive and get it for seven. Okay. But like, they'll say, Oh, I saw you had, I saw you got DoorDash today. That's a button push because like, look, I mean, I'm just going to be real with you right here. Like I make the money. I can buy a sandwich if I want to buy a sandwich. You're pushing my buttons because you know it bugs me when you do that. Like, that stuff stops. Like, that got addressed real fast in a very polite and kind way. But, like, look, I don't like it when you push my buttons like this and it, and it puts me in a bad mood for the rest of the day. And she stopped. Because that's what, like, normal people do. You know, like, I know there's button pushing, like, uh, you know, in a loving way. And then there's also button pushing that's, like, more toxic. Button pushing in a loving way might be like, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, if, if, uh, here's something that my mom and dad used to do to us kids. Every time I had a sandwich or like something, my dad would like push his thumb into it, poke a hole in it or something like that, a bun, poke a hole in it. I do, I do that to like my wife and she'd get annoyed, but that's not like toxic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and clean up your own stuff you know what i mean because why, why are they speaking in unison why is she what? pushing those yeah. buttons 
buttons. But why can, can I you tell you something? Like your buttons are Everybody being got buttons. But first of all, that's, yes, and that's, but that's yeah. an opportunity for you to work on, on you. you. It's not about oh, I'm her. always it's working on you. me. I always come. And for her to work on her too. I feel like this is the intervention now. Man, I can't believe he just wasn't just like shut up, and then like cut it like. And then who they got this dude exuding feminine energy here too, like this guy's the only dude at the table, and he's like, no nah, player, like if I'm with someone and they're purposely pushing my button, look at Amber and Johnny, same thing, right? If you're with somebody who's purposely pushing your buttons, that's time to go. And and of course she's using, you know, now it says the divorce is getting floated out there. Will Smith and Jada could have one of the ugliest divorces in showbiz history. Hollywood actor Will Smith is reportedly barely speaking to his wife Jada as tensions are at an all-time high between the pair after his behavior at the Oscars. Well, he's probably not happy that she sold him out afterwards after he tried to defend her honor by miladying in front of 20 million people. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Apparently, ever since the scandal, tensions between the two have been palpable, and insider told her uh, there have been problems for years. They're barely speaking. If the two were to get split, Will has a fortune of $350 million that Jada would be entitled to half of under California law. Well, he's the one that wanted to get married. He's the one that wanted to rush and get married, right? That's what you get. He had plenty of money at the time to know better. It wasn't like he was broke and then he won the lottery. It wasn't like he was broke and he started a successful company in a dead marriage and then he forgot to divorce her along the way. He had plenty of money at the time they got married. Will obviously doesn't want that, but there's only so much he could take. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He probably should divorce her if he knows what's good for him, but hey, stick around. I couldn't care less. You're both Hollywood scum to me. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.